I just woke up to my dad playing Battlefield 3 drunk, with the pizza guy who was also drunk. Reddit, what is the weirdest thing you have ever woken up to? I woke up smoking a cigarette once. It was still lit so I couldn't have fallen asleep with it like that because it would have gone out a few minutes after I dozed off. Did I light it in my sleep? Did someone light it for me? Stick it in my mouth? Then run away? I am never going to know. During my freshman year of college I woke up to a plasticy crinkling and the sound of chewing. My roommate was wrapped up like a burrito in our area rug and was sleep eating from a container of double stuff for us. I fell asleep outside after doing some sort of charity walk, only to wake to my brother using turf spray paint to outline me like I was a dead body while my dad leaned out the window and encouraged him. Bastards ruined my shirt. They thought you were dead because you were missing your intestines. I was like 7 or 8 at the time, and had been sleeping in my parents bed. I forget why, maybe I had a nightmare, maybe it was too hot in my room. I was dreaming that I was going to school, but I ran like 10 minutes late. Before heading to class, I went to the washroom to take a whiz. As I was taking a pee, a ghost popped out of the mirror and told me since I was late to school I would die. This would be accomplished by choking. So it started to choke me and I started to die. I woke up in a sweat but still choking. Turns out that my dad had been moving in his sleep and his arm had been on top of my throat and pressing down rather hard. I took it off my throat, but it was the freaking weirdest dream awakening. Oh, and I also had a dream where I met a girl and fell in love with her. I failed to realize she didn't exist until noon. I know the feel of that last one, right in the reality. Two years ago on Saint Patrick's Day I enjoyed a long night of green beer and shots until I blacked out. I remember meeting this chick at the bar that I went to school with and that's it. I awoke at 9 o'clock the next morning, still half cut, with the girl in my bed completely naked. Not me though, I was wearing two pairs of pants and three t-shirts, two of which weren't mine. I was drinking at a good mate's place, he had his two older, somewhat thuggish brothers over, and we all had fun boozing the night away. I conked out in the living room, next to the TV. The next morning, I woke up to the sounds of someone freaking noisily. I sat up groggily and had sat up directly in front of the TV, which was showing some guy banging this girl while holding her head down a toilet. Weirdest pee in a while. I turned around to see my mate's older bro sitting in front of the TV, eating pizza, face as calm as watching Saturday morning cartoons. Midway between munches, he notices I'm awake, nods, then in a nonchalant way, over the sound of the girl getting her head flushed in the toilet, offered up his plate. Cho, oh, definitely the weirdest thing I've woken up to. The pizza was nice as well. My 14 year old sister in my bed. I'm 17, male. Apparently sometime during the night she snuck into my room and slept in my bed. What's worse is the reason I woke up was that my mom came into my room to wake me up and saw that. It was awkward. That must have been the same pizza man who delivered to my house. Because he showed up 45 minutes late and was completely s-faced. You. I remember you from the post about the weirdest sexual request or something. All you wanted was a girl to punch in the ovaries. Ah. Good reddit times. Waking up at about 5.30 Christmas morning to my dad in the living room watching Priscilla, queen of the dessert with the sound absolutely blasting. I woke up with a dead bird in my pocket. After a long night of partying, my twin and I woke in a living room we did not recognize. And as I pushed my hands in the pockets of my hoodie to face the cold of January on the trek home, I found a dead bird. No freaking idea how it got there. I was at a party once where I disappeared and passed out in the tub apparently closing the shower curtain and I'm guessing about 10 or 20 people used that bathroom while I was unconscious. I woke up bewildered but mainly a little glad that I hadn't been put in time out. Same night baby bird fell in my hand from 3 story gutter. Went to sleep in bed with my ex GF. Woke up in bed with her. Two naked chicks and someone playing a Game Boy in the corner of the room. Frick my roommate through good parties. Feel bad for that kid in the corner, that's for sure. He. In my elementary school years, I woke up on the floor in pitch darkness with just my comforter. I spent what felt like 15 minutes searching for my bed, my door, windows, anything at all. 
but I couldn't find a goddamn thing. All I could feel were the walls. I must have circled the room a dozen times. Before giving up, I vigorously scratched my left forearm in order to leave a mark. After admitting defeat, I woke up on the floor with my comforter next to my bed. My left forearm had red scratch marks. To this day, I have no idea what the frick happened. Sounds like you were dreaming, but were semi-awake enough to control your hand and scratch your arm. It was about 2am and I decided I needed a drink of water. The way the house is situated my room is on the north end and the kitchen is on the south. The TV faces into the kitchen from the living room. So I go out to the living room and my dad is dead asleep with the TV on very low volume or muted as per usual. I go to the kitchen and get my water from the fridge and turn around. It's lesbian pee on the TV. I go over to my dad on the couch and shake him and say dad. You're missing the best part he wakes up all confused and then when he realizes what is playing mumbles some excuse about how it came on after the show he was watching before. Reiite. Comma dad. You're missing the best part. You're a great son. The old morning board. Except this wasn't your ordinary morning board. This was the I'm lying face up with no sheets to cover up my boner while my mother stares at me morning board. Pretty sure I've seen this porno. I was in Geneva for the Euro in 2008, staying at a youth hostel, out of nowhere, at 8 in the morning, police raids our dorm, 4 officers go around, asking for an American guy named Nathan, when the dude finally stands up and says hi, the 4 officers jumped on him, handcuffed him and escorted him out of the room, apparently, the night before, the guy got into a huge fight and fled the scene when the cops showed up, how they found him. I still don't know to this day. I think they found him because he said hi. I once stayed up all night and went to sleep at 10.30 in the morning. Woke up the next day at 1am. I heard lots of noise and turned I find a guy with his pants down fapping in my room. My roommate was having a party and I guess this guy was frisky or something so he had to go for a wank. Still don't understand why he couldn't have just used the bathroom. I sleep texted my ex to come over and spend the night. I broke up with her for cheating on me, though she was still obsessed with me. I woke up, and sure enough she's wide awake staring at me, rubbing my side and grinning ear to ear. I threw up. Since your story didn't say you were sick or drunk before falling asleep I can only assume that you vomited intentionally and aggressively, and to that I say, bravo, I hope some landed on her. My roommate's one night stand. I woke up and he was naked and cuddling me in my own bed at 5am. He forgot how to get back to her room when he went to the bathroom. Or you're just hotter than your roommate. My husband works nights and will come home and take a bong rip, fall asleep with it in his hand and then take another. He's also been noted to fall asleep with a full beer in his hand and wake up not having spilled a drop. Last year I threw a big butt birthday party for myself, woke up the next day cuddling a nerf stampede in one arm and my girlfriend in the other. I was woken by my ra saying hey I, 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 I need you to clean the chicken soup off the wall, the vodka off the floor, and your friend off of the pool table. Success. I once woke up at a friend's house in DC to a phone ringing. My friend was gone, and in a very hungover state, I crawled out of bed and answered it. You won't believe what I saw on my way to work this morning, my friend said on the phone. Someone drove through the tulip beds in front of Union Station. Whoa. I thought, who the heck would do that? I looked at my shoes at the foot of the bed. They had tulips all over them. You know, come to think of it, that was me. And I think I blew out my tire doing it. What followed was a madcap 24 hours as I located my car, changed the tire, and got the heck out of there. And that was the end of my ever partying like that. I still shudder at the sheer stupidity. Legendary. While I was in high school my mom had a derby party. Kentucky and here. I woke up to get a drink and in our living room I saw my preschool teacher passed out on the couch. I wish I was making that up. I text people right before I fall asleep. It's in the stage of drowsiness where you can't really use reason, and usually have no memory of it the next morning. This has resulted in waking up to some weird sent messages on my phone. My favorite is something along the lines of I know that you're really a fire goddess. I won't tell anyone. Just don't wreck my house again. Sent to my 16 year old little sister. Thank goodness that the message failed to send. 
Or she probably would have thought I was insane. I do the same thing. Then in the morning my friends always ask if I'm drunk. Nope. Just a sleep texter. I once woke up to my little brother making out with a female mannequin head and moaning oh cholas he was 7 at the time. I still wonder where the frick he got it from. But since then all mannequins are named Charles. Haha. <laughs> Love this one. For personal reasons. All female mannequins are named Jolene. But the males will now be called Charles. This morning I woke up to the sound of Final Fantasy music. I have an iHome in my bathroom and somehow my cat managed to turn it on and crank up the volume. I woke up excited thinking my roommate was playing FF2. Walked out into the living room to nothing and was confused for a good solid 2 minutes before I realized it was my iPad. WTF cat how did you manage to turn that on? I'd be more excited about my cat playing Final Fantasy 2. D. After a night of heavy drinking, I woke up on the cement floor of a small fruit stand to a kick in the head and my throat feeling like it was on fire. A couple of friends I was hanging out with thought that it would be a good idea to clean up some vomit with a mix of bleach and ammonia. Well ain't that a kick in the head. I woke up in a lake once. I actually woke up having to pee and started to roll out of bed, forgetting that I was sleeping on a mattress that I found and put on a dock. The lake ended up being the place that I really came to. Also, the place that I peed. My mum calling for an ambulance when my father was having the heart attack that killed him. Other than that, my brother who had sleep walked into my room and was walking head first into my cupboard. Over and over and over. I'm so sorry to hear that. Once, while camping with the boy scouts, I woke to a man in a gorilla suit wrestling with a scout in a full body suit. Odd, but not the weirdest thing we did. What happens in Boy Scouts, stays in Boy Scouts. I don't know about the weirdest, but definitely the funniest, and a story worth telling. My father-in-law used to live next door to my husband and me. He was super cool, so there was no problem. One night we partied the night away with a bunch of friends and we all ended up sleeping in our living room. We had a mattress on the floor plus lots of good sleeping couches, so it was a very comfortable house to crash. The next morning, the front door opens and it's my father-in-law. His hair is a mess. While everyone else pretends to be asleep, my husband looks at his dad and says, Your hair's fricked up. His response, Yeah, I been watching Robocop. But the original husband, is that why your hair's fricked up at that moment everybody was busted? Because we all were unable to contain ourselves and we got the gigs. He's gone now and that is one of the best stories to relive about him. R.I.P. Sammy. I have a long story, but after numerous instances of sharing the story, I have it down to a few sentences. Go drinking with some friends at a party in the suburbs. Get drunk while there, but decide to move on to a second party out in the country. Get to party number 2, and are presented with the strongest homemade alcohol I've ever had. Pretty sure it was just a shade off ethanol. About 4 solo cups worth of that stuff later, I fade to black. Wake up naked and alone on a mattress in a field, with the cow licking the salt from my sweat off my back. It was about 90 degrees all night, and then was around 100 when I finally came to. Finn. I was woken up at an hour recently to a sound of a drill followed by a horrified scream. Turns out, the person next to me was a former junkie, diabetic on dialysis and due to the HUs, didn't have a vein in which to place an IV. This peromed sugar levels were low enough that they should have been in a coma, so the staff had to insert the IV into the patient's shin bone. The next two hours were filled with horrified screams accompanying the staff trying to inject sugar into the patient. I suddenly thought maybe my situation wasn't so bad. Important facts to start with. I live with my mom. I don't wear pants to sleep, only panties and a t-shirt. So, a few months ago, I woke up on a Saturday morning and decided to do what I do best. Listen to music and do nothing. I ended up staying in bed until 11ish when Kay decided it would be wise to wake up and see if my mom wanted to get any food. I want marching down the hallway into my mom's room, fling open the door, and see her lying on her bed, titanic style and bright blue lingerie. In the corner of her room is this gigantic black guy standing there with a huge photography setup, obviously taking pictures of my almost knacky noodle mom. Speaking of her, my mom casually looks over at me and says good morning semen trash can. 
I'm so glad you're awake. This is my fried Roger. He came to take pictures of the house. And, well, things got carried away. Roger casually looked over at my fresh out of bed pantsless state and gave me an awkward wave. I stopped cringing long enough to flip them the bird and run back to my room to hide for the rest of eternity. TL. DR. Caught my mom making a porno. Almost turned freaky but I ran away. Sorry for any errors. I typed this all on my phone. You're a little skittish for a semen trash can. After a serious night of drinking I woke up to a shopping cart in my living room. I had zero recollection of how it got there. Several cell phone pictures and a video on my fiance's phone captured the event. I kept it in my backyard until I moved. I fell asleep on my couch and woke up to my 3 year old son trying to jam a hot dog that he was holding with his mouth down my mouth. My wife thought it would be funny to tell him to feed me like a mama bird. Not my story, but my boyfriend's. Still the weirdest thing either of us have ever woken up to, and probably ever will. So this one night he went out drinking with his friend who was visiting from out of town after pre-gaming a bit at my boyfriend and I's house. His friend drove, and they went drinking at the bars in a medium sized college town out in the suburbs, about a half hour away from our house. A couple hours before bar close, around midnight, he and his friend had been separated and were at different bars. He was blackout crap pounded drunk by this point, and he was leaning up against the wall outside of the bar. He sort of remembers, not initially, but after witnesses accounts, somewhat, face planting the sidewalk in front of him, and in the process fricking up his knee pretty badly through his jeans. He doesn't remember much after that except that he was trying to get a hold of and find his friend, he knew he was too wasted to be out and about, and Barclos was approaching. The next few hours were a completely blacked out blur, until about 7.30 in the morning when he wakes up. The first thing he sees when he opens his eyes is some guy sitting in front of him smoking M. He remembers panicking and thinking where the frick am I, and how did I get here, oh god. I would never smoke M, would I? And most of all, what the frick even looked around the room to see another guy and a girl, probably all in their 20s early 30s, who are also on and smoking M. They were all strangers and had absolutely no common acquaintances with either my boyfriend or his friend. Then he sees his friend sitting on a chair across this room. His friend said dude, finally, you're up, let's get the frick home. Then his friend drove him home and explained what had happened throughout the night, and my boyfriend came home and to bed after telling the story to me. He was a little bewildered at the time, but I thought it was absolutely hilarious. TL. DR. My boyfriend got separated from his friend at the bars and blacked out. He opened his eyes the next morning to a bunch of complete and total strangers smoking M. If anyone wants to hear the story of what happened while he was blacked out how he got there, I'll tell it, but I figured my comment was getting a bit long winded. Please, do tell. My boyfriend says this happened, he woke me up to tell me to scoot over, I was apparently in shock or something from waking up so suddenly and I asked what time is it, I need to fart. After a night of heavy drinking, I was passed out on my buddy's couch. His roommate comes out that Sunday morning at about 10am, looks at me in my hungover, half awake state and says on Sunday mornings, I like to play Skyrim and light a candle, lights match, let me show you what a true nor looks like. Woke up on my buddy's coach, S, S, Sam, Nopatazoon. Around 10pm I was sitting on the couch listening to Sublime with a friend. Next thing I know, it's 7am and I'm asleep in his closet, naked. You know how it goes, you smoke two joints and then you have to smoke two more. Then after those two joints, you have to smoke two more. It's a never ending cycle. Went to party last week and got pretty hammered. I live in southern Louisiana and the party was at friends camp in the middle freaking nowhere. In the middle of the night a few friends got in a boat and went and caught four young, two foot, alligators. My friends say I woke up for a little while and played with the alligators for a while and even used a can of salt to take the leeches off of the alligators. I adopted one of the alligators, named him Dinosaur Jr. after the band, and said I was going to sleep with him for the night. I woke up around 9am spooning with Dinosaur Jr completely oblivious as to why. All alligators were returned back to the wild with their mouth sun taped not long after I woke up and were completely unharmed. 
woke up to see someone in full Win the Pooh costume sitting at my computer desk looking at me with a 40 ounce in a paper bag with honey written on it. I woke up on a seat beside a beach. Some chick was pulling my shoes off. She then proceeded to throw them into the ocean. I started walking home and found my doona in a tree on the way. Oh yes, I have a decent one. One night, we went out drinking. Shocker, I know. Well, we go to this local bar that has incredibly strong Long Island teas, and I got absolutely smashed. In my town, there is only one place open after the bar's close, and I remember walking there, and that was about it. Cue about 6 hours later, I'm in my bed with my girlfriend. Things seem okay. Then I smell chicken. Open my eyes. Chicken bones surrounding me. A half open styrofoam box with potato wedges. A half container of potato salad. An empty bottle of Jameson. And dropkick Murphy's blaring in the living room. It was now Saint Patty's day. So after clearing the chicken bones off my bed. I look at the laptop. And realize that I passed out watching a live feed to the penguins at the San Diego Zoo. What? Anyway. Went to the living room. Grabbed some Jameson. Happy St. Patty's Day. The receipt from the pizza place said I ordered 8 pieces of broasted chicken. 1 pound of wedges. And 1 pound of potato salad. Not sure they even sell things by the pound. TL. DR. Drank a lot. Woke up with girlfriend surrounded by the bones of poultry. Potato products. And the live feed of the penguins at the San Diego Zoo. Jameson. Camper had the rear axle fall off on the freeway while I was sleeping when I was like 6. I remember groggily waking up to see sparks flying out from the back of the camper. I then promptly went back to sleep. I wish I could sleep as well as 6 year old me could. Probably already buried in the comments, but here we go. After a night of partying in high school, I woke up shirtless and alone in a bedroom on a bed that was just a springboard with bed sheets on it, but no blanket. I get up and go downstairs to find 6 of my friends taking turns playing Mario Party, and they all just start laughing at me and tell me not to go in the kitchen because it's flooded. When I asked them how the heck the kitchen got flooded, they said that I got super drunk and passed out on the bathroom floor upstairs, so a couple of my friends picked me up and carried me to the room that I woke up in, but they said that once they laid me down on my side, I started throwing up all over the blanket and my shirt. My friends didn't want me to get in trouble with the house's owner, so they took the blanket and my shirt and decided to wash them in the laundry room that was attached to the kitchen downstairs. It turns out that the washing machine was broken and leaky, so it flooded the kitchen. Apparently, they made the best of it and played in the pooling water. So that's the story of how I flooded a kitchen while I was passed out. God I love my friends. Best people ever. One of my buddies woke up in his dorm room, covered in blood, spooning a giant traffic cone. The weirdest part is that, after he showered, he didn't have any cuts on his body, so it wasn't his blood. He doesn't remember anything from that night. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.